Guys, turn on the TV. There's some lunatic with a gun on a building. And he's heavily armed. Oh my god, that's a building across the street. Should we evacuate the offices? Where's Mr. Curtis? Mr. Curtis? We have a code red here! Okay, we have a little more information on the shooter. Mr. Curtis! His name is Anthony Curtis, a longtime city employee, a, a social worker. Oh my god. I can't believe it. His name is Tony Curtis. <laughs> extremely agitated, and he's demanding to talk to a Norm Henderson. Why would he want to talk to me? After I had sex with his daughter, he said he never wanted to talk to me again. Hello? I have just received Norm, damn it. Oh, yeah, take a message. <laughs> right. Oh, hey, Mr. Curtis. No, no, she's a very sweet girl, yeah. You want me to talk to you over on Sally's desk phone? Oh, okay. You guys obviously nuts. <laughs> okay, sir, I'm over on Sally's phone now. How can I help you? Oh, okay, sir. Look, just, just try to calm down, relax. You're obviously agitated. As you know, I'm sure we can find a solution to whatever's bothering you. The SWAT team is on the roof. They're rushing in. Sir! Sir, they're right behind you. Quick, go left. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, sir. I meant to my left. <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. around here. Can everybody come down here? I have a little announcement to make. I received a phone call this morning from the district supervisor informing me that I was to replace Mr. Curtis effective immediately. So. Oh, hey, I'm the new boss. Uh, you know, thank you all. Thank you very much. But I do think it's important to remember that this all came about because of a very tragic incident. And now I get to be the boss. Oh, God, I've been waiting for this forever. Yes. <laughs> My best friend is the boss. Hey, can I take July off? <laughs> Hold on, we got something for you. Oh, how could you have known you did nothing? Give me a kiss. Happy birthday, Mr. Curtis. <laughs> Danny put his finger in it so they wouldn't give us our deposit well. back. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, I'm looking for uh, Lori Freeman. Yes, that's me. Oh, good. Uh, my name is Danby. I'm going to be the new supervisor here. The what? Supervisor? No, I'm the supervisor, Lori Freeman. Y yes, mm. Mr. Jenkins called me this morning and told me to take over. Y yes, to take over for me until I got here because I was going to be 15 minutes late. <laughs> I only got to be the supervisor for 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, you wanna, you wanna catch me up on some of the highlights of your administration? Uh, I've already put together a proposal for a client daycare center here in the office, and but, I was beginning the paperwork on job training for addicts, uh, condoms in all the high schools, and of course my pet project is hugs for guns. I see. Uh, you're a boat rocker, aren't you? I don't rock boats, I don't make waves, I don't do anything nautical at all. I've got four years until my pension kicks in and I'm gonna get there unscathed. I will eat you, Three Horn. No, no, you will not eat me because I am Three Horn. You are a grass eater, you silly Three Horn. You must be, uh... You must be Norm Henderson. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Good to meet you there, sir. I hope we're going to get along, Norm. Oh, oh, absolutely. You don't have to worry about that, sir. I had a, a wonderful working relationship with my last boss. Yeah, except for that last part where he tried to shoot me on the roof, you know. <laughs> I was briefed about you and your former boss, uh, Norm, and I thought maybe you and I could try to do something different. Okay, sir. I'm, I'm always ready for a change. Mm, from now on, what I'd like you to do is absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, did you say, uh, did you say absolutely nothing? Nothing. Just all I need from you is just be at the desk at 9 a.m., do nothing, and then leave at 5. You mean I don't see clients? It's nothing. I, I don't have to do field work? No, no, no. 
Uh, sir, I don't mean to suck up, because I don't suck up, but uh, I believe that there must be a, an angel missing from heaven today. So. Norm, do you feel the least bit guilty that you're doing nothing and we have to pick up all the slack? Yeah, you know, it's kind of demeaning, you know? I mean, uh, you know, it makes me feel kind of worthless, you know, like I have no value whatsoever, you know? It's kind of like, oh, my tater tots are ready. <laughs> I can't believe this. Denby wants me to spend less time with every client so we can show the higher ups we're pushing more bodies through here every day. I said, we're not making lamps here. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything better than lamps. He really chaps my hide. I'll tell you something, too. This is going straight into my notebook. Notebook? What kind of notebook? I'm keeping a notebook of everything that Denby does to undermine the mission of this office. Oh, really? Well, I have a good title for that notebook. Mr. Denby, world's greatest boss. Well, yeah, you like him because he lets you sit around and do nothing all day long. I don't like him. I love him. Come on, the guy is a disaster. Look at this. Look, I just started. I already have a whole page. Fine, I'll make a notebook myself. You will not. Yeah, I'll cancel out every bad thing you say. All right, how do you cancel this? Refuse to help addicts. Um, did not try to shoot me. Bad thing, doesn't want teenagers to have condoms. Uh, good thing, more condoms for me. Hey, Laurie, uh, Laurie, we have to talk about this daycare center proposal of yours. It's a no-go. What? It's too risky. We don't have the insurance. You, you, you see children, I see tiny plaintiffs. That guy really... You know what I'm doing? You, I am sending this notebook straight upstairs. Oh, no, no, Lori, don't do that. Come on, man. Can't you two get along? He's a great guy. Whose side are you on, anyway? Lori, I'm gonna tell you the same thing that I would tell him if he asked me that question. I'm on your side. <laughs> Sir, can I talk to you for a second, sir? Uh, Norm, I have another rule for you. No knock, no talk. Get out. Uh, yeah, uh, sir, this will only take a minute. Uh, let me start by saying, sir, I like you, you know? I, I feel that since you've been here, I've done my best work ever. <laughs> but uh, what's bothering me is uh, you and Lori not getting along, you know? I, I just hate it when my two best friends are fighting like this. Well, these things happen, Norm. Oh, uh, uh, I don't want you falling behind and doing nothing, so I, 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 I'm gonna let you go. Oh, no, sir, sir, listen, uh, she doesn't know how great you are, sir, and you don't know how great she is, you know, mm. so you're putting down her programs, and she's talking about going over your head. Over my she... head? Yeah, yeah, that's right, sir, over your head. Yes, your, your much-cherished cloak of invisibility is in danger of being replaced by, uh, you know, one of those regular cloaks that everybody can see. <laughs> you know, oh, I well, I... I, I... I knew she was disappointed about not getting my job. Uh, sit down, Norm. What do you think I should do? Well, uh, why don't you give her more responsibility, sir? There's an idea. Oh, yeah, she was born to do social work, sir. She loves people. I tell you, there was this one dude came in, you know? Guy was on angel dust, right? And uh, all of a sudden, he just collapsed. And he fell down on the floor. He was like, ah, yeah, there's stuff coming out of his mouth and everything. I swear to God, she didn't crack a smile. <laughs> That's helpful, Norm. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to make another mistake, though, with Lori. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to give her something she would hate. Oh, well, I uh, try to avoid anything, sir, where she'd have to be the heavy. Well, she doesn't like the rough stuff and confrontation, uh, firing people. Oh, no, she can never fire anybody, sir. Now, she, see, she has this crazy need to be liked, you know? Mm. Kind of the opposite of me. Everybody likes me, and I couldn't care less. <laughs> Actually, Lori reminds me a lot of myself when I was that age. Idealistic, driven, shoulder-length brown hair, slim hips. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, joke, uh, Norm. Uh, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. Uh, that's great, sir. And once again, I don't want to appear to be sucking up, mm. but uh, might I say, sir, that uh, the road may have widened, but the, the curves are still there. Uh, 10 
attention, everybody. I have an announcement to make. When the poor people come, we have to turn out all the lights and pretend we're not here. <laughs> As of today, I'm giving Laurie the position of co-supervisor in this what? office. Co-supervisor? Oh, my God! <laughs> it's a new position I've created just to take advantage of your special skills. Oh, my... Mr. Denby, I don't know what to say. I, I, oh. I didn't expect it. I'm a little overwhelmed. Well, I modestly accept... And uh, if I could quote briefly from the words of another great social worker, Jesus Christ, when he said... Sorry, 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 Laurie. Thank everybody in your own time. Yes, sir. Everybody, back to work. Yes, oh, my God. Oh, oh hey, congratulations, co Hey, geez, I wonder what made him change his mind. I have no idea. We had that big fight. It was me. I did it. I did oh, it. you did it. Oh, no. Yeah, I went right into his office and I told oh, him how great you were. I you did it. Jed, what'd you say? Uh, well, first of all, I told him that you're the most important person in his whole office. Oh, God. Yeah. And then I looked him right in the eye and I says to him, I says, Look, you don't mess with me, you little sh. Here he comes. Oh, God. <laughs> right, here it is, Laurie. Oh, uh, well. Uh, this is your new responsibility. <laughs> Well, it just says the name Al. Yes, that's your new responsibility. Uh, because of the budget cuts, I need you to fire Al. Oh, oh, well, I am I think that I'd be a little uncomfortable doing that. Too bad. That's the responsibility of the co-supervisor. That's your new job. You either do it, or you're going to leave. Oh, sir, she can't fire Al. I distinctly told you she's not good at firing people. You told him that? What is wrong with you? You weren't there, Laura. You didn't see it. He tricked me. <laughs> How could he trick you? As with all great tricks, I don't have a clue. Oh, 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 I see what you're doing. You think I'm a big pain in the ass, so you want me to quit, right? You, you think you throw one hard task at me and I can't do it? Al, meet me in the counseling room. Have a seat, Al. Al, I need to give you some news. Things aren't always easy in this world. Life is unfair. To expect more would be naive. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to give you a heads up on that, Al. You know what? You stink, Denby, okay? All right, you, you win, I quit. Lori, you can't quit. Uh, look what you did. I hope you and Mr. Denby are very happy together. I was trying to help. So you go and tell him all of my weaknesses. I'm telling you, that guy's some kind of a sorcerer. You know what? <laughs> just, just anyway, forget it. You can only kick around Lori for so long before Lori starts to kick back. And you can tell by the tone of her voice she doesn't mean kick back as in relax, which would have been a poor choice of words on her part or my part. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what? Hey, to hell with all of you. Horrible. Lori's out looking for a job and it's all my fault. I can't believe Denby fooled me. I haven't been fooled like that since I picked up that she-mail. <laughs> I mean, uh, since my buddy picked up that she-mail. <laughs> all right, can you stick on the subject, would you? How are we gonna get Lori back? She's not coming back unless we can figure out a way to get rid of Denby. All right, there's gotta be some way we can get him fired. Hey, Norm, what was that thing we were talking about to get rid of Molly? What? Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Nobody's ever gonna believe Mr. Denby was in a porno. <laughs> I get it. You guys are just screwing with me, right? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, I got it. I got it. What's the worst thing a social worker could be? You? <laughs> no, a racist. All we have to do is trick Denby into saying something racist. But we need an actual minority to file the complaint against him. D Danny, aren't you half Mexican? Yeah, yeah, I'm also a quarter Greek and a quarter uh, German. What if he's not a racist? Well, then we just get him for something else, you know, for drug pushing or wife beating. No, no, don't even think that way. He isn't married, we couldn't afford the drugs. But what we do have <laughs> is half a Mexican. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, sir, it sure feels different talking to you outside the office like this. You know, it's nice to, to let your hair down, you know, and not to worry about having to be politically correct. Oh, yes, people have become so sensitive. Yeah, like, like Danny the other day, he had a case, you know, a Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Pepe Rodriguez, sir? 
And he's having a hard time with them. I was wondering if you could, uh, you know, make any generalizations about uh, Senor Pepe Rodriguez that uh, might be able to help Danny. Well, I, I'd have to see the file. I, I can't make any judgments based on a name. Oh, you can't? Um, you know, sir, I was uh, recently thinking of taking a trip to Greece. Oh, yes, the Greeks, sir. Yes, they're a physical people, aren't they, sir? The young boys, all that wrestling, that can't be healthy, right? <laughs> yes, they are, uh, robust people. Uh, you know what the, uh, the Greeks remind me of, sir, is the, uh, uh... Oh, yeah, the Germans. <laughs> light-hearted bunch, aren't they? The Germans, very peaceful, sir. What do you think? I think wherever you went to college, Norm, you got gypped. I'm sorry, sir. What'd you say? I got what? I, I said you got gypped. Oh, gypped? As in being cheated by a gypsy? I am a gypsy, sir, and I take offense. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Oh, you've pushed the wrong button now, sir. Norm, cool your hot gypsy blood. No. <laughs> no. He just slurred my entire ethnic group. I, I, I don't think what I said was an ethnic slur. Oh, really? Gyp, to cheat or swindle from the word gypsy. I will no longer sit here while you attack my rich, proud cultural heritage. We gave you the tambourine, sir, and this is how you repay us? <laughs> No, I said anything wrong. Yeah, well, ignorance is no excuse for racism, sir. I'm going immediately to file a report with the EEOC. From now on, sir, you can speak to my lawyer. And you probably won't like him either, sir, because he's Jewish. At least I think he is. I mean, he's a lawyer. Lori, I must say your resume is very impressive. Your skills as a social worker will be quite useful in the world of market research. We're trying to market this new product. It's aimed at what we like to call pre-adults. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> is he smoking a cigarette? No, no. It's a cool stick. See, cigarettes have a negative connotation. Cool sticks, on the other hand, are brightly colored sticks of smoking fun. But they're cigarettes. Oh, cool sticks. Well, I believe that cool sticks, I'm, well, <laughs> cigarettes cause cancer. It's not proven that cool sticks cause cancer. It is proven, though, that cool sticks cause coolness. Uh, I suppose I could do this if I were Satan. Well, this is interesting. You're being difficult. And this is exactly what your former employer warned us about when we called for a reference. I am not difficult. And cool sticks cause cancer. Unless you don't call it cancer, unless you call it happy fun bumps. <laughs> Hey, Denby. Lori. I hope you're happy because of your reference. I can't even get a job selling cigarettes to children. Thank God you're back. Maybe you can help me. I, I, I made a terrible mistake with one of your co-workers, and I really... I, I, I don't know how to deal with the situation. Oh, it's good to know that God is finally done with his coffee break. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Of course, you're right. I realize now I treated you terribly, too. If, if you could just come back, I, I, I'd be happy to implement that daycare proposal idea that you had. Really? Uh, sure. Uh, we could give condoms to gun owners or uh, whatever it was that you had. Well, well it's, it's a very intriguing offer. Could you just help me with Norm? I, I've slurred his rich gypsy heritage. You mean my friend Norm? The gypsy? He's just gonna lodge a complaint now against me uh, with the higher ups. It's gonna stick to me like flypaper after 32 years in the bureaucracy. Now I'm gonna be gypped under my pension. Oh God, I did it again. <laughs> Sir, I, I think I can get him to forgive you. Shh. 
Lori, what are you doing here? I'm coming back to work. Oh, my God, that's great. I know. I worked things out with Denby, and I said I would get you to forgive him for insulting your rich gypsy heritage. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. Norm, that is like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me while insulting an entire race of people. <laughs> oh, I doubt that, a pretty girl like you. You're just saying that. <laughs> Mr. Denby. Oh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, Lori has persuaded me to forgive you. But actually, I did uh, put a curse on you yesterday, so uh, let me remove that for you. <laughs> oh, Laurie, I bet you can't guess what I've been doing for the last couple of days. No, sir, what? I've been using the internet to research Norm's genealogy. Imagine my amazement when I found zero gypsies. <laughs> Hey. Norm, I've been researching gypsies. Oh, yeah? How about that? Yeah, um, I think uh, both you and I know, Norm, that you haven't really forgiven me until you've done the majestic gypsy dance of forgiveness. <laughs> yeah, that's more an orthodox uh, tradition, sir. I'm a reformed gypsy. <laughs> You're not really a gypsy, are you, Norm? No, no, I'm not, sir. You're a dead man. I take offense at that, sir. I happen to come from a long line of dead people. Yes, and I will not stand idly by as you attack my rich, dead cultural heritage. That's right. We gave you uh, rigor mortis and uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost. And this is how you repay us? Uh,